This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today we're going to create the Fire Pigeon. Is that not a cool name? It's a strange name. It is. This recipe comes from Ivan. And the Fire Pigeon, he said, is a family recipe. Family's got a lot of time, my friend. This is not easy. So the Fire Pigeon is six ounces of Corona or Dos Equis. Dos Equis. Uh, two and a half ounces of pomegranate liqueur. We've got Pomo over there. We've got two and a half ounces of raspberry liqueur. I'm using raspberry d'amour. Could have used the one we used yesterday or the day before that, whatever. But we're not. Squeeze the lime and pomegranate seeds or juice as your topping when it's all said and done. I've got pomegranate juice because the seeds aren't out yet in the store. So around here. Around here. I'm sure, some places pomegranates, and I'm jealous. But we don't have those here. We do yep. have star fruit. Um, so there you go. Well, we have pomegranates, but not this time of year. No. More Eventually. around September. They will arrive. So what we need is six ounces of beer. Now this is 12, so really I should be able to just dump half, but that's not perfect enough. There we go. And while I've had this recipe on deck to do, uh, we had a party a couple weeks ago and I bought a bunch of Corona. Well, six or 12 or something like that. And nobody, <laughs> nobody drank, drank it. Nobody. That's because... They all drink girly beer. No. My family didn't come. No. They drank cocktails. That's true. I did make a and lot of And they brought their own beer. Yeah. That's the problem. If you don't, if the minute I didn't buy any beer, they wouldn't have brought any and I would look like the dumbass. But I was nice and nobody drank it. So now I've got, I can make 12 of these. So next time we'll go to a party over at their house and we'll leave it there. <laughs> I've done that. But I wouldn't do that with Corona because Corona is like eight bucks. <laughs> okay. What was I supposed to know what that really meant? Uh, no, it's just eight dollars. There's a lot of money to drop off at somebody's house when you don't even know if they're going to drink it. Donna Michelle would drink it. That's the house I was You're talking right. about. Okay, yeah, okay, you didn't say the right people. Okay, that makes sense. They will drink it. They will drink anything. Drop off motor oil. And put it in their beer fridge and they'd go like, oh, yeah. I don't think so. Maybe not. This is not going to fit in this. Just to let you know. I haven't you screwed with me on measurements here. You're supposed to be shaking anyways. I know, but this is a lot of stuff. Okay, our sque we'll do our squeeze of... I don't even need this. I got a whole... I got a lot of lime right here. So there's our final ingredients. Now, I didn't... I failed to mention this part. But people probably saw it. They're going, well, the hell's he got that there? That must be a mistake. Tabasco sauce. Five to six drops. No, five to seven. Five to seven. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go seven. We're going hardcore. We're going Flat Avery line. Island style. Louisiana. Isn't there a Scooby-Doo episode about that place? I don't, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I guess I could be wrong. What's the one with the cats? That's not Avery Island. It's not Avery Island. I've seen that episode, and there's nowhere I was like, oh, that's Louisiana. No. Well, yeah, it is Louisiana, because they talk about the bayou, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Captain Jack, or whatever his name is. Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> oh, you know what? No, I don't. So let me take this off. People have been asking, have you ever broken one of these? So that leads me to the discussion about why we would never break one of these. Watch this, okay? Watch this, you're way over there and nobody you can, can see that. You can, you can see the pressure. Little pressure applied. And it stays. You don't have to... If you watched our episode where Don was doing it, BAM! Not good. That's why I went... When he did that. Just saying. You don't need to smash it that hard. Yeah, Don. Yeah. And another thing I've learned from bartenders is... You point this side. Not the glass, so if it doesn't explode on people's faces... It's the camera is shaking it. Unless you want to explode on people's faces. Right. 
There's always that. Could just be in your nature to explode on people's faces. Um, I guess sneak a smell. Berry. With vinegar? Yeah, a little bit. So, we're going to do this. We'll top it with the other ingredients. It's just messed up. All right. This stuff's good. Dry. Dry. It's going to float right on top. A little squeeze. I don't, I'm guessing it's supposed to assault your senses when you first take a sip. Let's see. Why, Sexy. Is that what fire pigeons do? I don't really know any fire pigeons myself. This is... Then why are you guessing that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just... This is really fabulous looking. Like that, the, that red. That's cool. <laughs> but it still, it still smells like a Corona, which is kind of screwed up. And uh, some of the, the foam that's rising to the top has pushed some of the um, the Tabasco pepper into the foam. This is the best Corona I've ever had. I like that. Almost like a, a candy berry. It's almost like a Tussie Pop. The, like a red cherry Tussie Pop. Maybe you won't get that, but to me, it tastes like a little cherry Tussie Pop. Whoa! But you have weird taste buds. Mm -hmm. The key ingredient here is not hurting you yet, but there's plenty of room, is the Tabasco. There is a little hint of a spice, like a pepper spice, but it's not enough to make you... Maybe you wouldn't even... I wouldn't even know... There's a little vinegar, but I don't think if somebody didn't see you make this and you said, Hey, dude, here, have a, have a fire pigeon. They might just go, oh, it's spicy, but they might not know what it is that's making the spice. Some might, I don't know. It could be horseradish vodka. It could be. No, I think that would be different. <laughs> um, but it does have, it keeps, it retains its Corona taste. If you can imagine in your head a Corona, a little bit of pomegranate, and just a hint of Tootsie Pop, that, my friends, is the fire pigeon. Thank you, Ivan. This is a taste experience that I've not had before, and I like that. Would I make one again? Actually, I could. This is pretty neat. Um, if you've got some beer to burn, and I do. So there you go. EverydayDrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.